So how would you say Livestream has helped shape the, shape the coverage in Ferguson? Well, Livestream is a part of the, the social media ecosystem, and that largely has shaped uh, mainstream media coverage. Uh, I remember just last week going online and little blips of hashtag Ferguson uh, showing up on my Twitter, and I said, what's this, what's this? Obviously, I heard about the Mike Brown case, but but suddenly the, the, the boil over afterwards was, was not on CNN, it was not on you know Fox, it was really on Twitter, and a large part of that was live stream. And so you, you get a hashtag Ferguson, you're like, watch me, and it was not the networks, it was a, a, a citizen who knew how to use the live stream service, plugging in and showing the world what was going on. There was no context at that point. It was just raw images. And that really, that raw um, kind of uh, authentic feel to it, I think really uh, set fire to that story. What was your reaction as you were watching that footage in the earlier days of this coverage? Uh, honestly, my reaction was this, this as uh, many people reacted, this can't be the United States. And that's one of, you know, as I've, I've, I'm obviously a journalist, I teach journalism, I've seen a lot of war footage. And and it was striking how how foreign yet local it felt at the same time. Th this is clearly America, middle America, but this is the kind of grainy footage you imagine seeing in Syria or Iraq or, or, or those places that we're typically uh, used to on the evening news. And how are uh, networks, the evening news on the various networks and also cable stations now using this live streamed footage? Well, it's funny if you watch, for example, uh, you know, as, as a, I consider myself uh, maybe not a typical viewer, but I have typical viewing habits. I, I'll go on Twitter, I'll get an alert, and once I'm curious enough, I'll switch to another medium, uh, either my laptop or go on to actually watch TV. And I think the, the big boys, the CNNs of the world and the Reuters, you guys have a lot of infrastructure, and I think that infrastructure can cause a bit of problems. You know, you're, you're setting your, you have your satellite trucks, you have your crews, and you're set in a kind of a space. But I think when you use live stream, you're a lot more mobile. For example, the work that uh, Vice is doing with Tim Pool, and he's just walking around. He's got no lights. The footage is grainy. So I think that uh, the networks, the big boys, still have a bit to learn because they're used to working with a lot of infrastructure. And I think that once you free yourself of that with a product like live stream, you get interesting results.